Good morning, family Naz. Bear with me. Um, I've never done a selfie before, let alone a video. So uh, I need lots of prayer. So uh, Suzanne asked me if I would read from Matthew uh, chapter 26, verse 17 through 30. Um, would you begin with prayer with me? Father, I just thank you for this day, Lord. Uh, thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to share your word. I pray that you would guide me and direct me, Lord. And Father, during this difficult time that we are going through, I ask that you be with every person listening, God, that whatever their need is, that you would meet it, Lord. Uh, we know that you are our provider, you are our protector, and you will see us through this, God that we will see a victory, God. We know, God, that you are in the midst of this. You're working, God, even when we can't see it or we can't feel it. You are working. So please be with us today, Lord. Bless us all. Help us all to have a safe day and be with all the people on the front lines, God. We pray that you would protect them, help them to shine your light so bright that the people they're caring for, God, they can't miss you. We ask this in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Okay, so now I'm going to read from Matthew 26, verse 17 through 30. On the first day of the festival of the unleavened bread, the disciple came to Jesus and asked, Where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, my appointed time is near. I'm going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the 12. And while they were eating, he said, truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say to him one after the other, surely you don't mean me, Lord. Jesus replied, the one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go just as is written. But woe to the man that betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray Jesus, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi. Jesus said, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is the blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine, from now on till the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. There's a few um, verses, there's about four of them that um, I wanted to go over. And the first one is from verse 17. The first one, on the first day of the festival of the unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, where do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? And then it, the explanation um, that I have is during the Passover feast, the lambs were slaughtered in remembrance of the sacrificial lambs of Exodus 12. And in Exodus 12, it's God's miraculous rescue of Israel from slavery in Egypt and the plague of judgment, killing of the firstborn son. In order for the angel of death to pass over their household, they had to put blood from a sacrificed lamb over their house on the door frame of their home. This became the symbol of Israel's deliverance from bondage. And then in verse 25, where um, Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi. And uh, the other disciple, disciples always addressed Jesus um, as Lord. But Judas had already separated himself from the other's disciples, and he was insincere in his question when uh, he had said, you don't mean me, Rabbi. He was insincere since he'd already agreed to betray him. 
He may have hoped that while Jesus was aware there was a betrayer, he hoped he didn't know it was him. But Jesus was not surprised. He knows everything. He already knew. And then in verse 26, while they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. And it's typically the Passover bread when eaten uh, was recalling the exodus. As Jesus broke the bread, he re-explained it is uh, as he announced that through his death, a new exodus would occur. This meal would bind all Christians throughout history to the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And then in verse 28, this is my blood, the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. And that um, the passage links the death of Jesus, both with that of the suffering servant of Isaiah. And in Isaiah, it's explaining that he poured out his life unto death for sinners. And then it, um, let me see, it links the passage with the new covenant of the prophecy of Jeremiah 31, 34. And in that it says, I will forgive their wickedness and I will remember their sins no more. And this basically was the mission of Jesus. Uh, when he died on the cross and rose again, um, that paid it all. And there's a little story that I just want to share with you. It's from a book um, called The Tale of the Tardy Ox Cart. It's by Charles Swindoll. And he relates uh, the story of an eight-year-old Kenyan girl named Monica who fell into a pit and broke her leg. Mama and Jerry, an older woman, seeing what had happened, climbed into the pit to rescue Monica. In the pit, a black mamba, the most poisonous snake in Africa, bit both Monica and Mama and Jerry. Both ladies were rushed to a medical center. Monica improved, but tragically, Mama and Jerry died. A nurse missionary explained to Monica that Mama and Jerry was bitten first and thus received all the mamba's poison. When the snake bit Monica, it had no poison left. The nurse went on to explain that Jesus had similarly taken the poison of our sin so that we can live. And Monica, at the end of that story, she readily received Christ. And that's like Jesus. He had taken all of our sin and paid the price for us. I pray you all have a blessed day. I love you all. Thank you.